Are you searching for a smarter way to align your IT assets with business goals, streamline transformation projects, and visualize your organization's architecture? So whether you're an enterprise architect, business analyst, or just starting your digital transformation journey, this design makes it easy to model, analyze, and communicate complex systems with clarity. This design is a world-class enterprise architecture platform trusted by leading organizations to future-proof their transformation journeys. It stands out for its adaptability, allowing teams to start small and scale as their needs grow. It can also provide expert guidance alongside innovative technology. This design supports comprehensive, standards-based modeling with native support for Archimate, BBMN, ERD, and UML, making it a top tool for architecture professionals. With Biz Designs, you can build tailored dashboards and analytics to engage both business and IT stakeholders, ensuring your organization stays aligned and in control. Its unified software-as-a-service platform boosts efficiency and collaboration across roles, offering predictable pricing and delivers relevant insights for every audience. In this video, I'll guide you through the basics of getting started with biz designs. I'll also show you how to create your first architecture model, demonstrate powerful features like dashboards and analytics, and share tips to maximize value from your enterprise architecture practice. First things first, head over to their website, which is bizdesign.com. You should be able to see this. You can click on this book a demo, or you can also take a tour onto their actual application. So if you want to book a demo, just input right here information such as your name, business email, company, country, and how do you learn about them. After that, click on book a demo. As you can see, they are trusted by a lot of companies, and a lot of those companies are actually well known as well. So here is what the demo looked like. Let's head over and get started. So this is what the actual dashboard looks like. So here we have the BizCorp home screen and you can actually go over and then zoom in to any part of that. Just click on the zoom in and you can see each part like motivation strategy, business architecture, application technology, transformation as well as other options in here you can also drill down into individual elements like applications and map where you are today you can see in here this BizCorp capability map we come from strategy crm as well as decision analysis human resource management financial and a lot more you can move them around in order to actually adjust your capability map. You can input right here and show in here the workflow, inspect it, as well as explore it, and also share this particular map that you have right there. Now in here, you can also dive into the wealth information by clicking on any part of it. So for example, when you click on this box, this will dive into the actual details associated with this box right there. So this box is the B payments. You can find in here the actual payments or properties, finance, rationalization, business value, views, documentation, transformation, technical value, and a lot more. You can also discover all the dependencies of objects relevant to this part. They are all rooted in a single repository with the sync information of the BizCorp capability map that you can have on the BizCorp itself. So with this design, you can also apply different lenses, such as risk or investments, relevant to applications, capabilities, and processes, then present them to different stakeholders. Like for example, in here, this map that we have earlier, we can connect each part of them to each other in order to successfully map how those things are connected from each other as well. 
Now, in here, you can gain deeper insights by exploring the views that the object is present in. So, for example, we have in here the B payments that we we're talking about earlier. You can see its properties, what it's a part of, its name, start date, as well as a lot more information about this. Under the views, you can also in here the view like application capability metrics, classification, landscape, overview, cooperation, as well as application cooperation. You can also expand in here this map that we have in order to explore what it has in store for you. Now, in here, we also have in here this actual part. And you can see you can design the state of your enterprise in order to develop a target operating model. You can design each motivation, architecture, technology, and transformation that this has in store for you. You can also see the impact of change on your current architecture, and you can compare the side-by-side -side current versus the target operating model when we can see it right here. So in there, you can also share or download this particular design in order to send it to someone. We also have in here the roadmap for each of the part that you're interested in. Like for example, payment application roadmap, payment projects roadmap, and from there. You can design it on your own or you can also have AI design it for you. We have in here the finance for that and it can actually help you instantly visualize the impact of the changes that you want to implement in your actual software. You can also uncover potential savings with the real-time cost analysis and apply unlimited overlays like rationalization savings, strategic importance, before actually executing those. You can see in here the actual prediction for the price that it will take for that as well. So they're also color-coded if those changes are strategic or not. So from in there, you can also see a lot more options. And as you can see, they align with a lot of IT experts and businesses like you. They can help you capture and model all of the moving parts of your enterprise architecture to drive successful transformation and see how you're realizing your strategies can get started with this part, just head over and click a button and then you can get everything in one glance. You can simplify complexity and present it to different groups of stakeholders with objects all rated in the same repository. So that's all there is for now about the biz design and how it can help your actual business. Thank you for watching our biz design tutorial. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your colleagues. Subscribe to our channel for more tutorials on enterprise architecture and digital transformation tools. So, what challenges are you facing in your architecture practice? Or, what features of this design would you like to learn more about? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching.